welcome back to another video of master IV fluid course and today we're going to discuss fluid resuscitation in heart failure and in the stage renal disease on dialysis and also here this apply to anybody who's not making urine you could be dealing with a patient with acute kidney injury who's anuric right for example this is a pretty common scenario where people get confused oh the patient ejection fraction is 10 percent no i'm not going to give fluids or the patient dialysis patient i'm not going to give fluids please treat these patients as if you're treating anybody else when they presented with these type of shocks as we said the only shock that we don't give fluid is cardiogenic shock but those people can get dry and can get volume depleted like any other patient and we resuscitate them exactly like other and simply monitor them for signs of fluid overload and you may find some resistance from some nurses who think now giving fluid will put these people in pulmonary edema actually it can put anybody in pulmonary edema we've given two three four liters to somebody with ef five percent and nothing happened he did not go into pulmonary edema so basically you tell them you tell the nurse that's fine we're just going to monitor this just monitor listen uh, auscultate the lung right see if there's any crackles that's one uh, their oxygen requirement and symptoms any shortness of breath and check for si other signs you know peripheral edema and other stuff so please do not deprive these peoples of adequate IV fluid resuscitation just out of concern of developing of pulmonary edema no resuscitate them like others and watch them again you may give an extra attention to them about these signs now one thing is if you have a very nervous nurse you can make her happy if the patient is not extremely unstable you can say okay give this let's say one liter of lr over an hour 60 minutes for example that may, may relieve a little bit of her anxiety of his or his anxiety uh, so you can slow down the bolus again some people they opt oh just give 250 mil uh, bolus again i still feel 250 is like a can of soda still small but if you're really that nervous you can give it and assist patient and give more right as long as you continuing assessing patients for that so please this is very important to remember that these people and quite often we've seen that people come really dehydrated from over diuresis and heart failure or they're septic or having a an infection they have very poor oral intake secondary to that and they become and they become really dry and what made things worse those people like heart failure patients they're not eating drinking and they continue taking their diuretics so they get super dehydrated so remember those things and these two scenario please so to wrap up resuscitate them exactly like others when they present with similar conditions and pay extra attention to these signs and act on them quickly of course if any signs of pulmonary edema you treat it as pulmonary edema and you stop IV fluid course uh, so and you stop the IV fluid I'll see you next video thanks for watching this video please subscribe to our channel and activate the notification bell so you get to see the videos as soon as they are released glad to have you on board